Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is the cancer plan. Aflac is known for their cancer plan. Aflac founded the very first cancer plan uh, in supplemental insurance, and we by far have the best cancer plan. So this is option three, cancer plan. This is the best cancer plan that we have available. Here's how it works. So just so you know, definitely read this stuff, okay? One in two men are diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. One in three women. The reason why men are diagnosed more than women is women are more proactive. They go to the doctor more, they get checked up, checkups more. Men do not, we get caught off guard, okay? So if you live long enough, you got a pretty high chance of getting diagnosed with cancer. So this is the way this works. Every year that you have this policy and you go for a cancer screening, right, cancer screening, this policy will pay you $100 per calendar year that you have a cancer screening. Cancer screening can be done in a blood panel, PSA cancer screening. Uh, very simple, women, pap smears, things like that. Uh, if you have children, especially females who are over the age of, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old, if they're going to the, the girl doctor and they're getting checked. Um, this pays $100 per person per year. So if there's a husband going every year, that's $100. If there's a wife going every year, there's $100. Let's just say there's two daughters going every year. I mean, that's $400 you get back off this policy just from the screening, okay? I'm not gonna go over everything. Please read over everything though. Initial diagnosis. If you or your spouse are ever diagnosed with cancer, internal cancer, first thing is gonna do is cut you a check for $6,000. If it's one of your children, your dependent children, it's gonna cut a check for $12,000. Now here's the really cool thing. Aflac does not charge to cover your children on the cancer policy. They do it for free. You may not be aware, but Aflac has an entire wing down at the Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. And Aflac is very passionate about uh, childhood cancer. So Aflac does not charge you anymore and your children are covered for free. Here's the other cool thing. This has a building benefit rider where every year that you're not diagnosed with cancer, this policy, will go up $500 on the initial diagnosis. So if you have this policy for 10 years, that's another $5,000 that if you're diagnosed with cancer, now you'll get $11,000 instead of 6,000. Pretty cool. If you go for an additional opinion, if a doctor tells you that you have cancer and you go for a second opinion, this policy will actually pay you $400 to get a second opinion. If you have to have radiation therapy, chemotherapy, if it's self-administered, $400 per calendar month. If a physician administers it, it's $1,500 per calendar month. Hormonal therapy, $40 per month. Topical chemotherapy, $200 per calendar month. Uh, Anti-nausea, $150 per calendar month. Now think about this. A lot of these different things are going to be happening to you, and you're going to be missing a lot of work if you're diagnosed with cancer going for these treatments. So it's very important that this money piles up and starts to pay you. But have you ever thought about if heaven forbid, and I've got four children and I don't want to think about it, if any of your children were ever diagnosed with cancer? Now the reason why we pay twice as much if it's a child that's diagnosed with cancer is if you're diagnosed with cancer, there's a good chance a family member can take you back and forth to treatments while your spouse continues to work and provide income for the family. But heaven forbid if it's one of your children that's diagnosed with cancer, more than likely mom and dad both are gonna be at those cancer treatments. Therefore, you have a dual loss of income, okay? And hopefully that 12,000 can pay the bills for a couple months while you guys kinda of start to get everything figured out. Stem cell and bone marrow transplant. 
it pays ten thousand dollars to the covered person and whoever donates it to you will get paid a thousand dollars if it's bone marrow 150 if it's stem cell pretty cool because they're going to be out of work for a couple of days so uh, aflac will actually pay them a benefit as well blood and plasma benefit surgical anesthesia benefit skin cancer surgery so if it's skin cancer and it's not uh, internal cancer there's benefits for that hospitalization if you have to be hospitalized due to cancer and a lot of times children do uh, if it's injured and spouse injured or spouse it's 300 dollars per day dependent children are 375 a day and if it's day 31 moving forward 30 to 1 days or more it actually doubles. So it's $600 if it's you or your spouse and $750 if it's a child. Outpatient surgical, extended care facility. So that's if you travel to go to a uh, facility to get treatment or if you're at a treatment and, and you have no way to get back or they want to keep you overnight or something like that, $150 per day. Home health care, hospice care, $1,000 first day, $50, $50 per day day thereafter 12,000 lifetime nursing services prosthesis non-prosthesis breast reconstruction okay huge benefit there other reconstructive surgeries facial reconstruction uh, egg harvesting annual care so if you're diagnosed with cancer and you beat it and you survive every year that you continue to have this policy aflac will send you 300 dollars on the anniversary of your date of diagnosis if you have to take an ambulance 250 dollars if it's ground 2000 if it's air again remember the hospital plan pays you to be if you're in the hospital and if you have to take an ambulance so does the cancer plan so if you have both of those you get money from both transportation there's a good chance that if you're diagnosed with cancer the best treatment or the best doctor or the best cancer uh, surgeon is not going to be right here in atlanta and if that's the case you're going to want to travel and go see that doctor there's a transportation benefit is 50 cents per mile up to 1500 dollars per round trip if you have to travel more than likely, you're going to have to put yourself in a hotel room. So it's got a lodging benefit. It's going to pay $80 per day, and that's up to 90 days per calendar year. This also has waiver premium continuation of coverage, just like all the other policies. Okay. Please, again, read down through this plan. Circle anything you have questions about. Write down your questions, and we'll go over them on the phone call. This policy has a 10 year pre-existing. So if you have had 10, if you have had internal cancer in the past 10 years, you do not qualify for this policy and it has a 30 day wait. What does a 30 day wait mean? If this plan goes into effect on the first day of the month and you're diagnosed with cancer within that month, this policy will not pay. So, if you have a doctor's appointment where you're going to get a cancer screening in the first month of having this policy, you will want to postpone that cancer screening till the following month if you can, is my recommendation. That is the cancer plan.